The Fordham University football squad took the Jack Coffey Field today for the annual spring game, but due to injuries, the game took on the appearance of a modified practice. But that didn't stop sophomore running back Kendall Percy from displaying his talents as the Rams look for a replacement for graduated all Patriot League running back Carlton Kuntz. Percy showed that he is a dual threat, gaining yardage both on the ground and by hauling in passes. Percy wasn't alone in turning heads on the offensive side as Marcus Jones had numerous catches, giving the Rams yet another threat at wide receiver. While Tabucky Jones Jr. shows he's ready to repeat his 1,000-yard receiving season from 2013. Nick Logau and Tony Petronelli were on the same page not once, but twice on two long pass completions. This one for a touchdown. But the day wasn't all about the offense, as the defense also came up big with Austin Hancock coming up with the stop on this play, and Nick Swisha coming around the end to sack the quarterback. The defense also came up big on third down, stopping this play short of the sticks. The passing defense also recorded numerous breakups, including this one by George Dawson, and this interception from Alex Leo. Lorenzo Smith and J.Q. Bowers were also able to knock down passes for the Fordham defense. The day ended with red zone offense with each side of the ball coming up with big plays. First it was the offense as Peter Matzel found Jorge Solano for the score and then Faison Odom took a short pass and made it into the corner of the end zone. But then it was the defense's turn as Ian Williams made the stop short of the goal line and Steve Samella broke up a pass in the end zone. One of the final plays of the day was this acrobatic catch from Rob Cantelli for the score. The Rams closed the practice singing the Fordham fight song led by honorary teammate Jonah Shaneberg. I think the kids looked at it as uh, our 15th opportunity to um, improve individually as offensive and defensive units and as a team. And um, you know, the goals going into spring were to improve our fundamentals and technique, improve our knowledge of the scheme, and compete. And uh, you know, I think they they did that today, and it was kind of a, an embodiment of what we had, we've done throughout the entire spring ball. Give us a couple of bright spots that came out of today's uh, practice. Uh, you know, I think there were bright spots across the board. I think you know it's good to see Kendall, Kendall Piercy show up and do some things. You know, uh, you know, losing Carlton Coons, and obviously he made a tremendous deal to our program and did a, you know, a fantastic job for us the past two years. So, uh, you know, I thought Kendall did some good things. I thought Marcus Jones showed up and caught some nice passes today and did some things after the catch. And Tabucky did some nice things as well. And Faison Odom had a nice dunk after his touchdown catch. So uh, we just do that in practice, not games. But uh, then defensively, the guys on the back end, and we're a veteran team. We returned 18 and 22. So it was good to see some of the younger guys who, uh, you know, need some development get in and get some work too. Now, at, at halftime of the practice, uh, you presented the seniors with their rings. How special was that for you? It was great. I mean, and it was uh, kind of a, um, you know, it, it kind of culminated their career here. And, and for them on uh, you know, the last spring practice of, of the, of the uh, year, for them to come out here and, and reward them for their tangible efforts uh, in, in you know, helping us achieve you know, the type of season that we had, you know, one of the best in school history. It was very gratifying to give those guys a token of our Thanks and appreciation with the rings, and I, I think they're very excited. All right, Kendall, um, spring game is over. How do you think it went? I think it went pretty good. You know, we had a lot of work on, you know, both sides of the ball. You know, we protected the team. Uh, offense did some good things. Defense did some great things. So, you know, this, it was a perfect way to end spring ball, you know, going into the summer. You know, we got to really pick up the work. Now, um, obviously, you know, CJ carried the load in the backfield last year. It looks like it's your turn this year. You, you've got a lot of reps out there, uh, both running and catching the ball. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, 
I learned a lot from CJ, you know, he's one of my mentors, he, you know, I love that dude, like he's, like he's a brother, you know what I mean? Because, you know, the, the reps I'm taking now in spring, it don't mean nothing, we got Aaron Bird coming back, so, you know, it's all up for grabs coming this fall, so, you know, we all going to work off each other, if, you know, we got to run four, four running backs a game, split all the carries, that's what we got to do, we got to do to get to that championship. And what aspect of the game do you think you improved on the most this, uh, this fall, uh, this uh, spring? My biggest thing was pass pro, because, you know, I he played running back and receiver in uh, high school, so, you know, my biggest thing was pass pro, you know, being able to get physical at the line with you know guys who have you know 50 60 pounds on me i think that was my biggest thing this week.